Hello friends, we are going to draw a flow chart to find if a number is prime or not. So what is a prime number? A number fully divisible by itself and one is known as a prime number. Fully divisible means the remainder should be zero. When we divide a number by another number, the remainder should be zero. That number is known as a fully divisible. A prime number means a number is fully divisible by itself and one only. So various prime numbers, for example, we can say the 3 is a prime number, 7 is a prime number, 13 is a prime number, 17 is a prime number and so on. So we are going to draw a flowchart which finds a given number is a prime or not. So this is the logical thought of the flowchart. I am going to obtain a number from the user. Input n. So the number is stored in the variable n. Next, I am initializing the variable i equal to 2. Set i equal to 2. Set is a keyword to initialize the value to a variable. Next, I am checking if i less than or equal to n minus 1. I am checking i less than or equal to n minus 1. If the condition is true, if the condition is true, if n modulo i equal to 0, that means when I divide n by i remain is 0. If it is false, in such a case, I am incrementing i by 1. to the, the relation statement if i less than or equal to n minus 1. We can say that is an the outer loop. If n modulo i equal to 0, in such a case I am printing printing print the number n or the string is not prime. And I am ending the flowchart. Here if i less than or equal to n minus 1, which is false, that means i greater than n minus 1. In the case, I am printing false. n modulo i equal to 0 is true means I am printing n is not prime. 
You have to look if I eat that then I could have minus one is false I am printing. Print n is prime. And I write back to the end of this flow chart. So this is a star. I am obtaining input n. I am initializing i equal to 2. Here I am checking i less than or equal to n minus 1. If it is true, the i value is less than or equal to n minus 1. n minus 1 is true. We come to this next statement. That is again a condition checking statement. If n modulo i equal to 0. If this is false, it will increment i by 1. i equal to i plus 1. And if it check again i less than or equal to n minus 1. And it checks n more low i equal to 0. So if it is true, it will check i n more low i equal to 0. It is false, it will increment i by 1. So the loop will go continuously up to i value is 2. From i to n minus 1, this is a loop. So inside the loop, I am having another statement. If n more low i equal to 0, that means if any i value between 2 to n minus 1, which completely divide n, that means and I divide this n by i, any i value between 2 to n minus 1, it returns 0, then it is not a prime number. Why it is not a prime number? Because a prime number is only divisible, fully divisible by itself and one only. Here the loop goes from 2 to n minus 1. If n is completely divisible between any i value of 2 to n minus 1, that means the number is not a prime number. Otherwise, this loop continues when i is greater than n minus 1, in such a case, what it means, the loop is over, between 2 to n minus 1, but i is not divisible between any value of 2 to n minus 1, now i is greater than n minus 1, so it completely checks 2 to n minus 1, okay, the i value 2 to n minus 1, it will divide n divided by the value from 2 to n minus 1, for any i value, it is not returning a remainder as 0, that means it is not completely divisible, so the loop is over. That means the number is a prime number. So I am printing, okay, when i less than or equal to n minus 1, okay, it is false. That means i greater than n minus 1, the loop is over. In such a case, I am printing n is a prime. And I am connected back to the, the logical end of this flowchart. Now we will take a sample value and check how this flowchart works. Now we will take a sample input and check how this project was. Logical start input n and giving n equal to 5. And the variable i is initialized by 2. i equal to 2. I am checking i less than or equal to n minus 1. i value is 2 less than or equal to n minus 1, 5 minus 1 that is 4, condition is true and checks n modulo i equal to 0, n value is 5, i value is 2, equal to 0 is false because 5 modulo 2 the remainder is 1, so this is false, it is false means I am incrementing i by 1, so i equal to existing value of i is 2 plus 1 which is equal to 3, my first iteration is over. Again, check the condition i less than or equal to n minus 1. So, the second iteration i value 3 less than or equal to n minus 1 is 4. This condition is true. It checks n modulo i is 0. That means 5 modulo 3 equal to 0. This is false. 5 modulo 3 remainder is 2. This is false. So, I am incrementing i by 1. I equal to i plus 1. So, if this is equal to i is 3 plus 1, which is equal to 4. This equation is over. Next equation, it checks i less than or equal to n minus 1. 4 less than or equal to 4. Less than or equal to. So, the condition is true. Then, I am checking n more i. 5 more low 4 equal to 0. This is false. 5 more low 4, the value is 1. I am incrementing i by 1. i equal to i plus 1, 
So I is become 4 plus 1 which is equal to 5 now. Okay. This iteration is over, I am checking the condition. I less than or equal to n minus 1. 5 less than or equal to n minus 1 is 4. The condition is false. It will come out. Condition is false, it will come out and print n is prime. So print 5 is prime. So actually 5 is a prime number. It is only complete divisible by 1 and itself. So 5 is prime is my output. So for a prime number, the flowchart works correctly. Now we will take a non-prime number and check how this flowchart works. Now I am taking the value n equal to 4. Here it is n equal to 4. We input releasing i equal to 2. i equal to 2. It checks i less than or equal to n minus 1. 2 less than or equal to n minus 1. 4 minus 1, 3. This condition is true. It checks n mod i equal to 0. 4. What is the value of mod i? 4. What is the value of i? i equal to 2. Mod 2 equal to 0. This is true. So, this is true. To come out and print, n is not prime. To print, 4 is not prime. 4 is not prime. So, 4 is not a prime number. It prints 4 is not a prime. For an input prime number, flowchart prints correctly. The number is prime. 5 is a prime number. It prints 5 is prime. 4 is not a prime number. The flowchart prints 4 is not prime. So, the flowchart is working properly. That's it. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Share, comment and press the bell button. Thank you.